So let me run over here. I'm going to open the application. And in this application, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you that I actually had built a very simple uh, navigation. Um, so I've built a, uh, a pump station with three pumps. Um, it defaulted to bring me to the data associated with that, with the Southwest station. And now I see that I have three pumps. So um, I can choose my context. So again, I, I go back to um, I talked earlier about data accessibility. One of the biggest changes that um, that we see in this industry happening is the notion of mapping data to asset models so that every user who has access to the system has access to understanding and has the ability to understand what the data is. If I don't want to have to know what pump, you know, pump one, RPM, ABC, XYZ tag name means, uh, I don't want to have to search through it through my database. I want to be able to say, oh, I care about what's the RPMs of pump two at in that station. And so I see here a navigation, um, which tells me I'm looking at the data associated with pump two. I can see, oh, it's gallons per minute. Well, maybe I want to now say, oh, what was the gallons per minute? Uh, so there's gallons per minute, but maybe I want to look at some other piece of data. So I could look at data from another asset. Um, so maybe I want to look at data from pump three. So I can put them on the same chart and it's loading the properties and I select gallons per minute. And now I see, um, I see two trend lines because I'm now looking at data uh, from, uh, from those two pumps. And I can, see, uh, I can see on the same trend what the performance is of those two different pumps because that's, you know, that's what I'm looking at now. Um, I can see the data at any given time. I can see what the difference is. So here's time here and time here. Uh, it's hidden by this little display here. Um, let me scroll over a bit. Close this window off. Okay, so now I can see the data associated with the with the pump at those uh, at those two points in time. If I don't want, I can change to historical data, and it's bring back far too much data. Maybe I want to pick the data. I want five minutes worth of data from you know. I don't want today's data. I want yesterday's data or two day Wednesday's data. So go grab me data from the same time uh, two days ago. 